when you hear the word salt the first thing that comes to your mind is common salt which we use in food but that is not it the word salt means a lot more in chemistry let's learn more about it a salt is a compound formed by the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base when a base is mixed with an acid we get a salt and water as products for example when sodium hydroxide is mixed with hydrochloric acid we get sodium chloride and water when copper hydroxide is reacted with sulfuric acid we get calcium sulfate and two molecules of water all salts are made of two radicals basic and acid basic radicals are positively charged metal ions derived from a base while acid radicals are negatively charged ions of single or group of atoms derived from acids salts made from sulfuric acid are called sulfates those made from nitric acid are called nitrates the ones made from hydrochloric acid are called hydrates salts made from carbonic acid are called carbonates those made from phosphoric acid are called phosphates and the ones made from acetic acid are called acetate do you know how many types of salts are there let me answer this question there are four types of salts the salts formed by the complete neutralization of an acid with a base is called normal salt all hydrogen atoms in an acid molecule are replaced by a metal in this type of reaction sodium hydroxide when heated with hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride and water the salt formed by the incomplete or the partial neutralization of an acid with a base is called an acid salt all hydrogen atoms are not replaced in this kind of reaction it changes the color of indicators in manner of an acid sodium hydroxide on reaction with sulfuric acid gives sodium bisulfate and water NaOH plus H2SO4 gives NaHSO4 plus H2O the salt which is formed by the incomplete or the partial neutralization of a base is called a basic salt when zinc hydroxide is mixed with hydrochloric acid the products derived are zinc hydroxyl chloride and water salts like bleaching powder and potassium formocyanide are called mixed salts let us now learn the different methods of preparing salts by direct combination of elements sodium added with chlorine gives sodium chloride iron added with sulfur gives iron sulfide by the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base base plus acid gives salt plus water naoh diluted plus hcl diluted gives nacl plus h2o by the reaction between metals and acids reaction of a metal with a dilute acid gives the corresponding salt and hydrogen gas potassium reacting with sulfuric acid gives the product potassium sulfate and hydrogen gas by the reaction of metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates with acids a metal carbonate reacts with an acid resulting in the formation of salt water 
and carbon dioxide gas. A metal bicarbonate on reaction with an acid results in the formation of a salt, water and carbon dioxide gas. By the reaction of acids on metallic oxides. Metallic oxides on combination with acids produce salt and water. Sodium oxide on combination with dilute hydrochloric acid gives salt and water. Not all salts have similar properties, but some salient features are exhibited by almost all salts. These are as follows. Salts are solids with high melting point. They may or may not be neutral to indicators depending on their type. In a molten state or in solution form, they are good conductors of electricity. They react with acids to form other salts and acids. Salt 1 plus acid 1 gives salt 2 plus acid 2. Example, sodium chloride added with concentrated sulfuric acid gives sodium bisulfate and hydrochloric acid. Two salts in solution form react with each other to produce two new salts. Salt 1 plus salt 2 gives salt 3 plus salt 4. Sodium chloride solution mixed with silver nitrate forms precipitate of silver chloride and soluble sodium nitrate. Certain salts with a fixed number of water molecules and loosely attached to their molecules are called hydrated salts. The water molecules attached to them are called water of crystallization. Examples Copper sulphate has 5 molecules of water of crystallization attached to its crystalline structure. Iron 2 sulphate has 7 molecules of water of crystallization. Did you know on heating hydrated salts, the water of crystallization evaporates, leaving behind usually a white colored anhydrous of the same compound? This shows that the color is due to the water of crystallization. You might be wondering where we use these hard to remember compounds in our lives. But soon you will learn how common they are. Let us have a look. Common salt or sodium chloride. It is added in food to add taste to it. It is also used as a preservative. It is mixed with ice to create a freezing mixture of lower melting point. It is used to prepare chemicals like chlorine, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, etc. It is used for manufacturing soap, washing soda or sodium carbonate. It is used for washing clothes. It is used to manufacture glass, paper and caustic soda. It is used for refining petroleum. It is used to make chemicals for the food and beverage industry and also for manufacturing of textiles and dyes. Baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. It is used as a baking powder. The released carbon dioxide gas helps in puffing up the cake. It is used in fire extinguishers. It is also used as a mild antiseptic and as an antacid. Potassium nitrate. It is an important fertilizer. It is also used to make gunpowder, fireworks and glass. Blue vitriol or copper sulphate. It is used as a fungicide in agriculture. It is also used for dyeing and electroplating purposes. Gypsum or 
calcium sulfate. It is used for preparation of plaster of Paris, for making statues and in the cement industry. It is used for fabrication in walls and boards. Potash or alum. This is a double salt of potassium sulfate and aluminium sulfate commonly called as pitkari. It is used for loading, that is, for quick sedimentation of suspended particles in water. Also, it is used as an antiseptic and in dyeing industry. Green vitriol or ferrous sulphate. It is an important constituent of blue and black ink. It is used as a mordant in dyeing industry and as an insecticide. Silver nitrate. It is used to treat sores and infection and is an excellent antiseptic. It is widely used in photography. It is also an important laboratory reagent. Did you know consumption of too much common salt can be deadly? Only a small amount of about 1 gram of salt per kilogram of weight can be fatal. Speaking of salts, I remember that mom has made some delicious snacks. Now I must hurry and get back home. A salt is a compound formed by the neutralization reaction between an acid and a base. There are four types of salts. Normal salts, acid salts, base salts, mixed salts. Salts can be prepared using the following processes. By direct combination of elements, by neutralization reaction between an acid and a base, by reaction between metals and acids, by the reaction of metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates with acids, by the action of acids on metallic oxides. Two salts in solution form react with each other to produce two new salts. Certain salts with a fixed number of water molecules loosely attached to their molecules are called hydrated salts. All the salts have various uses.